So please just shout next when you want to advance your slides. We're, we're, we're mindful of time. We're going to have six Petra Kutchers and I'm really excited by the lineup. It looks really interesting. I'd like to thank you all so very much for bringing your fantastic work to DEMA. So without much further ado, first we have Anuradha Ponapalli. I do hope I've said that right. And she'll be presenting on diversifying the curriculum, improving representation within preclinical consultation skills sessions. Thank you so much. Hello, um, my name is Anuradha Ponapalli. I'm a fourth year medical student here at Manchester University. Now I'm going to tell you my story of how I ended up in the equality, diversity and inclusion space and started to advocate for greater diversification of the, med of the medical school curricula. Today speaking specifically about improving representation within preclinical consultation skills. Next, please. Next for all the pictures on, and text on this slide, please. So this is what happened last year. A horrific incident in America that catalyzed a larger movement, highlighting the systemic inequality still present throughout our institutions today and hundreds of thousands of people took action across the globe in solidarity. Next. This made me think, how can I act in my capacity as a medical student? Next. And next. In response to the stark reminder of such brutal inequalities and discrimination, and taking inspiration from many other advocates around the world, I, along with a colleague, wrote a letter to the medical school urging greater diversification of the medical curriculum. Next. Amassing 413 signatories. Subsequently, I was approached to be part of the Student Staff Equality, Diversity and Inclusion, or EDI committee. Next. In the EDI committee, we spoke about many different components of the medical school curriculum. In preclinical years, this comprised of PBL, consultation skills, otherwise known as ComSkills, APEP, clinical exposure and PPD. Discussing how improvements to the course could be made to increase diversity, ComSkills was highlighted as the target area. Next. So what's the purpose of consultation skills? It's essentially a safe space where students are able to practice their communication skills, make mistakes and receive timely constructive feedback to improve their skills prior to patient contact. Next. Now, why is there a need for improved representation of different backgrounds within the simulated patient population? Well, the issue is that many were of a very similar background, and this is not only not representative of Manchester communities, next and next, nor is it of the UK population, whom we as future doctors will go on to serve. Greater exposure to various groups of people early on within medical education allows for the development of skills, both communication and clinical reasoning, to result in better future patient outcomes. Next. Following a number of internal discussions within the EDI committee, we were able to put forward our case to the medical school, where after some consultations, making a concerted effort to improve diversity within the recruitment process was considered. Some of the areas of concern are highlighted within the diversity wheel here. Next. The importance of diversity has already been recognised within the university and MFT leadership, and I hope sustained efforts will be made to not only continue to improve representation in preclinical years, but to diversify and decolonise the curriculum at each opportunity moving forward. Next. So this is a story of a student being inspired by a movement to champion change at a local level. Thank you very much for listening to my story and I welcome any questions. Thank you, Anuradha. That was an absolutely fantastic presentation. You covered so much ground in just three minutes. I'm quite taken aback. Are there any questions from the group? here so um from shamik so thanks anurado in addition to recruiting um, a medium long-term approach did you offer training for current simulators so i think uh, conversations are still taking place between the medical school and um, the edi committee um but we've moved a step further in that um considerations are now being made within the recruitment process I hope for this year um, and so the first and second years who will have simulated patients this year will be able to have a greater exposure to well simulated patients of different backgrounds um, but I think um, training for current simulators is definitely something that um, we considered and hopefully that will be offered um, shortly as well. That's great thank you very much.